Hey guys, well today we're going to be in, continuing on in the book of Proverbs from chapter 14. And we'll be doing verse 17 today. It says, A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. So two very strong encouragements, and we see these throughout the book of Proverbs and throughout the Bible. Um, these are a couple different ways that are related that you can really harm or ruin your legacy by choosing to try and do good things uh, in an ungodly way. Whether that's allowing your temper, your anger to rule, you just get angry and you lash out, uh, you won't control yourself. Um, that can really ruin a legacy really quickly. People don't want to be around that. And you can harm, especially I think a family, or even, you know, you can harm your 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 legacy, your uh, following at work or in a thing you're trying to do by acting that way. And plotting or being a man of evil devices, this idea of a, a schemer, someone who's always going behind people's backs and lying to get what they want, it can do the exact same thing. Um, you know, both of these really, they show a lack of trust in God that we're choosing to put our hand on something in the flesh and try and get it done on our own, whether through anger or lying or deceiving or whatever, rather than letting the Lord, uh, you know, bless our work that we're doing uh, for him. I have had a, found a really interesting lesson about this as I was reading this book the other day about this guy named Robert Moses, who uh, in the 1900s and the 30s and 40s was working really hard uh, on public works projects in the state of New York. There was a lot of really necessary things that needed to be done, and he was the kind of person who could get them done. And it made people really happy because he was building things that people really needed in the state of New York. Everybody was glad to see all these parks and highways going up that he was working to get done. But he just about ruined his entire legacy because he didn't control himself and he was a schemer and a plotter. Um, I just finished this chapter in the book talking about how at one point his whole political career almost came to an end because people realized that the way he had gotten all these things done was by just being rude and uh, a tyrant to people that were working with him and also by basically lying and cheating and, and doing all these good things in a bad way um, using bad techniques basically and once the public found out about it his his legacy was almost ruined because people realized that he wasn't the kind of guy that they wanted getting their their work done for them um, and it's the same way with us we don't want to try and do even good things in a way that god isn't pleased by uh, we can live calm self-controlled lives through the power of jesus and we can live them out in the open for everyone to see because we trust that the Lord is going to do what he needs to do. He's going to fight our battles on our behalf. And all we need to do is do what he's asked us to do. Uh, live calmly, live wisely, be careful with our legacy. In other words, be careful that we don't try and accomplish a good thing on the outside through bad motives or doing it in a bad way. And we're just going to trust that the Lord is going to take care of us. So anyway, it's an encouragement for us today. And we'll see you guys later on this week.